Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another tiny waist workout. This is gonna be a good one. We're gonna be using vacuums, different kind of ab exercises, the works. You don't need any equipment, just a yoga mat and yourself. And of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button on. You cannot do this workout until you put that post notification button on. Do it. Do it. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into the workout. I've blabbed for enough time already. <laughs> let's do this. So we're gonna start off on the floor in kind of like this rest and crunch position. What you're gonna do is you're gonna crunch up using your abs, lifting your shoulder blades off the floor, hands by your sides, and you're gonna touch one toe, switch to touch the other. We're gonna do 30 in total. Ten more. And thirty. Alright, so now we're going to be doing a vacuum. If you don't know what a vacuum is, it's your first time hearing about it, stop. Go ahead and watch my vacuum video. I will put it up on screen so you can go ahead and click it so you can know how to do a vacuum. If you know how to do a vacuum, you know that it's the secret to having a tiny waist. So, take a deep breath in. And when you breathe out, bring your belly button down to your spine. Bring it into the floor and hold. Really squeeze everything together. Hold for 20 seconds. And release. Whew. I'm not sure if I'm counting too fast or too slow, so if it's not, not exact 20, I apologize. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go into the second exercise. So next, we're going to do a hip raise to a scissor. So we're combining two exercises in one here. So keep your hands under your hips um, if you want. So here, you're going to put your legs up. You're going to do a hip raise. Come back down. Cross. Hip raise. Back down. Cross. Keep going. So when you do the cross, don't be here. Lower your legs a little bit until your abs are really working. Up and cross. Up and cross. Doing 20 in total. This is five, I think. This is 10. Keep going. Fifteen, five more. Almost there. A few more. And last one, up and come down. All right, catch your breath, but not for too long because now we've got another vacuum. So ready, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring that belly button down to the floor as much as you can. Really hold it all in together and hold for 20 seconds. Remember, you're not holding your breath. You should still be able to breathe. You're just really using your abs and tensing your midsection. And let go. Woo! Child, I feel it. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip over. We're gonna be doing a plank twist. Planks are another great exercise to really help cinch up your waist and build up your core strength in general. So go ahead and get into a plank. And we're going to do 30 plank twists, alternating. So twist to one side and the other side. Keep going. Keep your back completely straight from your neck to your hips. 15, halfway there. Almost there. Keep going. Get back down. 
And let's do a vacuum again. Ready? And hold. Keep going. A few more seconds. to go, not including the plank, so, well, I mean, blah, blah, blah. two more exercises to go, not including the vacuum. So now we've got bicycle crunches. I know I do these all the time, but these are some of my favorite because they help you kind of build up your obliques, but since we're not using weight, you're really not going to get too bulky um, in your obliques, but it helps you kind of get that line, that V-cut line, and the line that goes up your abs, which I think is like super sexy. So when you're ready, let's do a bicycle crunch. Remember, opposite knee to opposite elbow, and switch, and switch. We're doing 30 in total. Ten more. And 30. All right, ready? Another vacuum, that's right. Breathe out. Push that belly button in. Come on, really give it all you've got and try to hold it for longer than 20 seconds this time. Let's do 30 seconds this time. Really squeeze. You should feel it tensing. If you put your fingers right here by your hips, you should feel that muscle really tense. Ten more seconds. And 30. Whew. Now we've got our very last exercise. You don't have to do a vacuum after this. So very last exercise, we're gonna finish up with plank hopping in and out. So this is another one that gives you that nice line on the side of your abs. It's one of my favorite plank exercises. And we're gonna do 30 in total. So get into plank position here. You're gonna hop out and back in. Remember to keep your back straight. Out, in. We're going. Keep going, 10 more. Squeeze your abs. Almost there. And 30. Oh my gosh, my abs are on fire. This means I can eat another Twix ice cream bar, so very, very good thing. Oh my gosh. So I hope you enjoyed this workout. We kind of did it like a circuit. You can go ahead and incorporate this into your daily routine or repeat it two or three times to really get a full ab workout. Oh, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> Don't forget to check out my description to sign up for my very own subscription box. I'm so excited to launch it and share some of my favorite products with you. It's going to be freaking awesome. And, and don't forget to enter the giveaway on my Instagram page. Links to both of those things are in my description. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this workout and I will see you next time.